down in a minute unless you'd like to take her to the up the road. What is up you guys, Gold Pony here today with the 2016 Volkswagen Beetle Dune Edition. Now, I've always liked when manufacturers make unique versions of their cars and this is one of them so I wanted to check it out. And today I'm doing so courtesy of Faulkner Volkswagen in Mechanicsburg, PA. So anyways, starting with pricing, this one is going to be priced at $27,825. As far as the power plant goes, that's going to be a 1.8 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine putting out 170 horsepower at 4,800 RPM and 180 four pound feet of torque at around 1500 RPM. And that power is gonna be sent to the front wheels through a six speed automatic transmission, giving you a zero to 60 time of around seven-ish seconds. And so since I mentioned it, let's do a quick little acceleration. And by the way, it's pouring out, so we'll see how much traction we get. <laughs> it's slipping. Ah, it's still fun. Oh, and it is raining so much harder now, but that was fun. There was a little slippage because again, it's pouring, but that was a fun acceleration. Anyways, continuing on, this one is gonna get you 25 miles per gallon in the city and 34 on the highway using regular gas. However, I will say Volkswagen put a disclaimer on their website, peak horsepower is achieved through premium fuel. And then as far as visibility goes, the side mirrors, they're definitely not bad. I don't mind them at all. And then as far as rear visibility goes, also can see perfectly fine whatever's behind me. However, I will say the rear view mirror is a little small for my taste, but nonetheless, you can still see perfectly fine. So no worries there. Also has some carving through the turrets here. This one does have a four wheel independent suspension, so that's definitely gonna help with handling. Now let me touch on some of the differences that the Dune version is going to add over the regular Beetle. And so to start, the Dune is going to get a wider track. Also, this one does have a raised suspension. It's lifted around six inches. So you're gonna have some additional ground clearance with the Dune then as well. Another obvious difference that I really like on this one actually is the color, and it's called Sandstorm Yellow, and it definitely stands out. Honestly, it fits with the name Dune as well. But anyways, up front the changes continue. There is gonna be a black honeycomb front grille. Then to the sides, those headlights are halogen with clear lightweight chip resistant lenses as well and daytime running lights. Then there are heated side mirrors with integrated turret signals and I like how the side mirrors are wrapped in silver as well. Definitely ties in with the silver accents in the front. It just makes the car more unique. And I think I've said this before but I love when cars are a little different. Then around to the side there is a new double five spoke wheel designed for the Dune. And so while the regular Beetle is going to come with 16 inch wheels, the Dune is actually going to up that to 18 inches. Then heading around back, one of my favorite parts about this one is that large rear spoiler. So in my opinion it definitely looks awesome but it's also going to contribute to better aerodynamics as well at high speeds and then of course like other Volkswagens as well just below that spoiler is going to be the rear logo integrated hash handle so you just press in on that to have access to the trunk there that's pretty cool and then just below all of that is going to be the dual tipped exhaust and as always you guys here is that exhaust clip Now anyway, since we're still around back, cargo capacity is going to come in at 15.4 cubic feet. And of course, if that is not enough, those rear seats do fold down for a ton of added space. And now the more difficult part in this one, as far as that rear leg room goes, that is going to come in at 31.4 inches. So if you're a six foot adult like myself, it's definitely not going to be your most favorite place to be. But if you have kids or if you have a car seat, in that kind of situation, you definitely should be fine. But then heading around up front and actually overall for the interior of the vehicle, that sandstorm yellow color is actually going to continue. It's going to be on the dash, on the doors and then that sandstorm yellow color is also in the stitching and the trim accents on the seats as well. By the way those seats are six-way manually adjustable. Now let me show you guys the steering wheel real quick because I really like this one. And so along with the yellow stitching on the steering wheel which is good in itself it's also repping the Dune name at the flat bottom portion of the steering wheel and so it stands out once again over the other Beetles. That's pretty nice. By the way that steering wheel is tilt and telescoping so between that and the seats I certainly had no problems finding my perfect driving position. But then anyways to start it up I simply kept the key in my pocket, pressed down on the brake and hit the push button start then once again that sandstorm yellow color continues on the gauges so it's going to be black white and that yellow color speedometer is going to be located in the center tachometer on the left and then through the steering wheel mounted controls there just below the speedometer you can actually scroll through a bunch of stuff like settings there's the odometer of course radio station you have on and a bunch of other settings as well and it is going to tell you the outside temperature too i don't want to forget that and then front and center is going to be the touch screen display and so through this there is going to be bluetooth connectivity that's always nice for the most part you're going to be able to scroll through all all your different audio settings through this screen. By the way, the audio system is provided by Fender and it is an eight speaker audio system. It's real quick, let's see what we got going on for this one. 
not that bad. It's definitely loud enough for you. Yet again, it is Fender, so it is to be expected. Then another thing I don't want to overlook is there is a massive moonroof above me. Of course, you can tilt it, and it is one touch. That will completely open up, letting in a ton of extra light if you wanted it. Now, let me go back to the touchscreen front and center again because I like jumping around today. So when I put it in reverse, there is going to be a reverse camera along with sensors on the front and the back of the car. So it's going to let you know if you get close to something. It's going to warn you so you don't go running anything or anyone over. Always a good thing. But then anyways, continuing on with safety, there are going to be front side and side curtain airbags. There are anti-intrusion side door beams, anti-lock brakes, anti-slip regulation, electronic stability control, electronic brake force distribution, engine braking assist, hydraulic brake assist, and a tire pressure monitoring system. And so anyways, you guys, it is way too wet out right now. So I'm going to head back to the dealership and thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like the video and subscribe. Feel free to follow me on social media if you like right there and I will see you guys in the next one. Stay gold. Up the road.